In this presentation, I will show you how to import GNSS raw data collected with your Leica GNSS receivers, either a GS14, GS15, or GS16, into Leica Infinity, and then how to export that data to a Rhinex file that can be submitted to Opus. So I've created a project in Infinity, and now I'm going to import data. We do have the option to uh, import all raw data types, but when you're doing GNSS raw data, you do need to select one of these two options, either GNSS or Rhinex or MDB. MDB is our Leica native format. If you already have Rhinex data, there would not be a need to import your data into Infinity to export for Opus. So in this case, we are going to import data that was collected in the Leica MDB format. So we've set this to Leica MDB, and now we'll choose our file. And I've placed this uh, raw data, I've downloaded it from my controller and placed it on the desktop. So I will find that. And then we'll select the raw data file and press import. Now I'm going to go to the inspector and go to the GNSS screen, and then I'll go to the GNSS interval screen. You will notice that there are a couple of different types of data in this file. We had some, G, um, some RTK data, and then we had a point number two that we collected with a static or a rapid static observation. Um, I do have my Infinity software set to US survey feet. For Opus, you would need to convert this uh, antenna height to meters, or you could actually read that information from your Rhinex file and submit that height. Uh, which, will be, which will be displayed in meters in the Rhinex file to Opus. So I will select the point that I want to export for a Rhinex file. Then I'll go to export and you want to make sure that you choose the selection option instead of all. And then I will select the file type to be exported. In this case it will be Rhinex. and then I will select the location for the file. Now I'm going to place this file also on my desktop but you could place this anywhere on the hard drive of your PC. And now I'll press export and the file has been created. So we can open that file using a text editor just to review some of the information. So Again, just a normal text editor. This will give us the uh, version of the Rhinex file, which is 3.02. It will tell us that it's been exported from Leica Infinity in the version. This is in 2.1. It will also show us the Leica GNSS antenna and the NGS name for that antenna. And finally, we can look for our antenna height, and you'll see it here. It's 1.79998, and we can round that up to 1.80. And you'll look down further through the file. You will see the information exported, the uh, GNSS satellite observation information exported. So we're now ready to send this file to Opus. I've accessed the Opus website and loaded my file in the choose file button. I've loaded the observation file. There'll be several files exported, but you want to choose the O file. I've selected the correct antenna and given it a height, and I'm going to allow Opus to choose the state plane coordinate system, the correct value based on my location for the state plane coordinate system. So I'll press upload to Opus Rapid Static since this was a about a 15, 20 minute observation and then we get a notification that tells us the file was successfully uploaded. Now we've received our response back from Opus so we can review our information. A few things you might want to check is the, uh, the RMS values and you'll see that you've been given a NAT83 latitude longitude ellipsoid and orthometric height. You've also been given UTM and state plane coordinates. Opus also shows you the reference stations that were used to compute the solution. And you're ready to use your information.